And then it's just dead. That's the end of it. <laughs> oh, okay. We oh, hey, girl, what the up? ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. Why well, am I under into the that? Command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Will playing this game affect my mass? Need those gains. This human must be eliminated. Yo, why they make her like that? Why is she like that? <laughs> Doctor, Dr. Chakwas, I think he's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? How did I end up here? How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Where's the beacon now? What happened to it? The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. <laughs> With one of those eye trackers. <laughs> I also no. noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. She just mentioned rapid eye movement. My eyes would be rapidly looking at places that I don't need you guys seeing that I'm looking at. Just uh, leave that up to your imagination. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. Hmm... I better add this to my report. It may. Oh, Captain Anderson. Oh, shit, here comes How's the brass. Still holding up, Doctor. When all the readings look normal, I'd say the command is going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Oh, shit. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. But I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. And I'm pissed off about the gift. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. He didn't come to Eden Prime because he hates humans. You're right. Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. But it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. What are we going to tell him? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. Oh, shit. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. 
I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the Council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the Ambassador, and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. I okay. am too. I'm beat up about Jenkins. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Damn, okay. Look at the size of that ship. Man, space is fucking cool, dude. <laughs> well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower too. Something tells me that thing is just like one monster. big gun. It's it probably has. could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock 422. Like butter. He buttered it into that bitch. <clears throat> Yeah, okay, this is fucking sick. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Saren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. If they don't stop him, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Is at stake. Somebody. Hello there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? <laughs> this is all going so wrong, and it is the Asari Consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. Who's this Asari consort? Curious. You have not heard. You must be new to the Citadel. Everyone knows Sha'ira, the consort. I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Where can I find this Asari consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Hi, guy. Hey, girl, what up? Welcome. I am Nelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. Commander Shepard with the Alliance Navy. Excellent. You should hear something in, um, three or four months. Three or four months? <laughs> Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. 
I have your name and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? What do you do here, Nolina? I'm one of the Consort's acolytes. Okay. Many of the people here today will not see the Consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. Contented? What exactly do you attend to? Well, each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, others with conversation. As much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes. My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body and relieve it. <laughs> I'd like to try out your services. Excellent. I'll add you to our client list. We should be able to see you in mm, three or four months. <laughs> I think I'm Yeah, done what here. she said? Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Malga, Malga yes, Shaira? If I didn't know what this Sunday game was, I would say it was a weird Star Wars. Oh, shit. Them. Yes, of course, mistress. Special treatment? Swing! Swing! God damn. Oh, it appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. This is my kind of side quest, boys. Where do I go? Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. <laughs> boggers, boggers, boggers. Shaira? That is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our Citadel. I don't like people spying on me. That's not what I said. I apologize, Commander. I make it my business to know. I said, are you checking up on me? On He's station. like, oh, I don't like it when you spy on me. Many bitch. of them become clients, but that is not why I asked you here. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Maybe I can help. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. Can't have that. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. What exactly do you want me to tell him? Appeal to Death face. Of what exactly you want me to Remind tell him? him of his position as a general. If you can convince oh, him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. Okay. Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. Wood. You guys gonna engage in some dialogue with me? Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council? Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. These guys are cool as fuck looking. I like these guys. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Come across anything I should know about? Saren's a specter. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you <laughs> expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. 
That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that! That's not his decision! Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This fucking guy. This meeting is adjourned. Okay, whatever. Whatever. I was there, I seen it. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Harkin. Again. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Cool. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's den. Hey, that's where I need it's to go. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. I thought you said he was a drunken loser. Couldn't hurt to go talk to him. Just be careful. I wouldn't call him reliable. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way. Innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. So would I. Fucking... Yeah, fuck him. Killing innocents doesn't end wars. It causes them. I know how the world works, Commander. Sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the Ambassador's office if you need anything else. Cool, thanks, boss. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, it's an assassin? Yo, these guys got some HP. One down. Those were Saren's men. Perimeter secured. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. Can't loot them. I guess it's probably like good for all you guys that I can't loot bodies because I loot all of them. I'm a little little loot fiend. Oh, okay.
Commander. What do you want? What's bothering you, General? I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and... There's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. So if you feel that way, then why spread lies about her? Because she rejected me. Me! Septimus Araka, General of the Turian Fleet. Is she really worth it? There must be other women. It's not just any woman I want. It's, it's her, and her alone. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. Why? Okay, so I'm a little upset. I'm a little upset because I put all of my beginning points into charm so that I could like talk to people and make the things happen and I can't do it. It's not high enough. You need to start acting like a general if you want to beat this. I spent all my life acting like a general and what did it get me? Huh? No. Those days are over. Scam, 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 scam. A tired, lonely, worn out soldier. You're a damn general. Quit your whining. Ha! You got balls, kid. There are only five people in this damn galaxy who talk to me like that. So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? I don't think it could hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? Sure. What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why does he think that? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. What makes you think he'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking it to? And where is he? His name is Zeltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Well, I didn't get to charm him, but I think I, Thanks, I think I worked it out. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. Oh, easy, sir. You'll make me blush. Hard to imagine a general like that getting so upset about a woman. Back That's off, Rex. Fizz told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing Rex, right Rex, Queen here. mentioned this guy. This is Fist's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. This story is just beginning. Out of my way, humans. I have no quarrel with you. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. No, I went right in the middle of that. We'll talk to Harkin. Alliance military. <laughs> I could have been a Marine, you know. Instead, I joined the goddamn Citadel Security. Biggest mistake of my life. Harkin, right? I was told you could help me find someone. A Turian CSEC officer named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard still trying to bring Saren down, eh? I know where Garrus is. But you gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Is there something I should know about the captain? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know oh, that, shit. did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor, and then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turian set him up. And that checks out. You said they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, <laughs> might as well spread them around. What? Nobody says that. <laughs> Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, spread that shit. No. No, you keep it to yourself. You take medication. 
Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus what the was fuck? sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Let me drink in peace. Enjoy, enjoy your herpes, man. Hey, Seltan, buddy. My God. Strange guy. greeting, human. This is really not a good time. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Not true. Look at this. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. Is he announcing his emotions before he says what he's going to say? The Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be very direct. I like the vibe. I wonder actions. why. <laughs> Anxious request. <laughs> Please, human. If you will excuse me, I must go now. I'm sure she'll forgive you. It was an honest mistake. Doubtful. Perhaps you are right, human. I can only hope so. I like those Thankful. guys. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, then not all humans are as you say. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. It was my honor to aid you. <laughs> it was my Here's honor, my lady. Commander, but I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you're interested. <laughs> I don't know, boys. Am I interested? Am I interested? I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words. Oh. An affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see your skin, tough as the scales on any Turian, unyielding, a wall between you and everyone else, but it protects you, makes you strong. That strength is what kept you alive when everyone around you was dying. You alone survived. You will continue to survive. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. So. You have quite a gift, Chaira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Elcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Have you though? Have you? I didn't tell anyone, I swear. Oh shit! That was smart, Doc. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut, or we'll... who are you? Let her go. Yeah, ah! my man. Enemy sighted. Ours. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. You took him down clean. Sometimes you get lucky. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. What Quarian? A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. 
Where is she now? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Fist betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid oh, even for shit. him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. She must have something that proves he's a traitor. Did the Quarian mention anything about Saren or the Geth? She did. The information she was going to trade. She said it had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. Yeah. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Fucking right you are. I was just in need of a new Turian friend. It's that guy. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. Is that John Goodman? You I get John Goodman vibes from this guy. I don't want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Do I know you, human? My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard. Commander Shepard. I've heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Okay. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. Glad to have you on the team, Rex. Let's go. Let's go. I'm also looking to see... I Fist waiting. Hey there. Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. Is there something I can do? Talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. I wonder what they look like without their suits on. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorban. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Well... Good luck. Okay. Sussy. Hold it right there. Goddamn. Just throw me the data and you can walk away. What data? What are you talking about? I didn't come out to play games with you, human. I'll ask you one more time. Give me the data and you and Jalid will live to see another day. There's no need to let things get out of hand. Fine. Have it your way. What? Boys? I think it's not how I wanted this to go. Wait, I give up. I give up. Please don't kill me. What's so important about this data? Why are you trying to get it? Fucking, I'm pretty deadly with that sniper rifle. going to deliver it. And what exactly was I supposed to be delivering? It's the initial data from scanning the keepers. You see, we stole some research from our work to make the scanners. We were supposed to work together. I get the data, he analyzes it. What's so special about that? The keepers are almost impossible to scan, and you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. Why are you trying to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. 
Khalid's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. So you're just trying to get back what Jalid already stole? We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. But it doesn't matter now. I just want to live. I don't care if I ever see that data again. So how do you gather data on the Keepers? It's not difficult, really. Just get within range and scan them. You seem interested. Enough to help me, perhaps? How could I help you? I'll give you my scanner. Whenever you see a Keeper, scan it. Discreetly. My database will update automatically each time you scan a unique Keeper. Then I'll update your account with a few credits. I suppose a little scanning here and there won't hurt anyone. Very money, good. money, 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 money. Maybe if you wouldn't mind speaking with Jalid. The data you're gathering for me is useless if Jalid won't help me analyze it. I'll go have a chat with him right now. Thank you. And happy scanning, Commander. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorban? I found out you've been lying to me, Jalid. Lying? Why would I lie to you? You forgot to mention the data about the Keeper. Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Sure you did. I was afraid Shorban would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. I'm scanning the Keepers for Shorban, but you two need to stop fighting. You're... you're helping us? But... well, if you say so. Well, if Shorban can forgive and forget, then so can I. I appreciate the help, Commander. I better go get that data analyzed. Yeah, you better. Because we're coming. Hold the line! Hiding uh, uh. behind there? You better cover than that, buddy. Damn, they're tough. Actually. Reminded me of the old Halo days. Here it comes. Incoming! Better move, buddy. How long does it take for the grenade to go off? That was a waste of time. I want to try a grenade. Fire in the hole. It's on him. Waiting for it to go off. And his grenades sure take their time, don't they? Kind of defeats the purpose of it. Just, uh, you have to wait for it to go off for that long. Clear. Stop right there. Don't come any closer. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back or we'll shoot. This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah no dead. shit. <laughs> I surrender. Tell me where the Quarian is, and I won't have to shoot you in the kneecaps. She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. I kind of expected Let Fist to be, uh... Wait, wait. I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. Krogan. The Quarian isn't here. Said you'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. 
I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Tell me where that meeting is before I blow your lying head off. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. What are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. A lot of people died because of him. He had it coming. Now let's move. We have to save that Quarian. Yeah, get fucked on. Did you bring it? Where's the Shadow Broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's A little touchy. Nice. Get shit on. Just oh, set just... me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. <laughs> 